We're gonna take a rack of baby back ribs today, cut them into individual ribs, wrap them in bacon. I'm so excited. We've got a new smoker. Hey, you've seen us do lots of videos on the pit barrel cooker. Well, that company has come out with a new smoker. It's got some features you cannot get on the pit barrel called the Badger Barrel. Let's get this cook started. First thing I want to do here is get this membrane off. Got these ribs, the back side. Getting a little bit lucky today, aren't I? Nice. Now, we just want to cut them in individual ribs. There we go, we got them all cut up. We got our ribs cut up, let's break out the bacon. So we've got our ribs here, individually cut. Now I'm going to come in with bacon. And we're just going to wrap each of these ribs up in a piece of bacon. This is gonna to have to be good pork with pork, right? We're down to our last rib here. Took one pound of bacon for one of these racks of baby bags. Now it's time for some seasoning. So I'm using the Running Wild Cherry. Use whatever sweet barbecue rub you want. I would not use a rub it's high in salt content because you've got all the salt you need with this bacon. Now let's get this badger barrel fired up. Now for those of you that are familiar with a pit barrel, you can see this is a new feature that they've added. You can actually use this thing like a hibachi. I'm going to lay in some sassafras wood. Here's another cool feature the Badger has. You can, it has an air vent, whereas the pit barrel does not. So I'm gonna open it up maybe a quarter. Depending on your elevation, you can open the bottom vent. Right there, one quarter for me. Now this cook won't take near as long when you've got that whole rack connected all together, you know. Uh, some people say it takes five hours for baby backs. I find it's a little quicker, maybe four. These are going to be cut individually. The cook is going to go much quicker. Okay, it's been two hours. It's time to sauce them up. Today I'm using Montgomery Inn barbecue sauce, one of the best rib restaurants in the world. Got some nice color on these guys. Just going to touch them up with this sauce. I can see I'm starting to flame up down below. That's not good, but not much I can do here for the video other than put the lid on to shut the flame off. Now, when they're cut individually like this, they're not obviously going to take, you know, four to five hours like you normally would with a rack. I just want to get them glazed up. I am going to shut the lid because I'm starting to, to, to flare up pretty bad down there. Now, you can see what I mean by flaring up. Let me get this lid and shut this down and then we'll finish glazing them. We think we got this flame out. Look at all the smoke. That's from that rib juice dripping down. I mean, the wood has burned up by now, right? Just want to get these guys glazed up. Get this lid back on. It's starting to flare up again already. We'll let this set about 10 minutes. 
Now for the final step, I'm gonna drizzle a little honey on those ribs. Now I've just got, this is a little bottle of hot honey. You definitely don't have to use hot honey, but I like it, I have it. You can use regular local honey. And you can see I'm just drizzling it on each one. Just give it a little sweetness. Let's get our lid back down. We're gonna go maybe 10 minutes. All right, so I have made these three times in total. The total cook time, the three times I've made them, has been between two hours, two hours, 20 minutes. Of course, if you run your smoker cooler, then it may take a little bit longer. I'm going to let that honey set five, 10 minutes max, get them off here. We'll take a look and do a taste test. All right, this honey has set. Let's get these guys off here. Just get a few here for the pitcher. Hope you're not getting my elbow. There's our ribs. All plated up here on the board. The sun is beating down even though I've got a canopy over me. It is 98 degrees here. It's absolutely miserable. But I still want to try one of these ribs. There's what they look like. <laughs> they got a great bite, tender, juicy. I think they're cooked perfectly. They are smoky, sweet, bacony. What else can I say? See, it's got that nice pink smoke ring. Hey, a couple of tips. Like I said earlier, I've made these three times. I made them uh, twice in this uh, cooker today and once in the pit barrel. Those run a little hotter than say if you're using a pellet grill. Uh, I haven't checked the internal temperature of this badger barrel, but my pit barrel runs up around 280, 300. So these are gonna cook a little faster. The bacon's dripping down. So you want to turn these ribs a couple of times in the cook so you don't get too dark. The first time I made them, the bottom side, this uh, the, the bone side, it got too dark. And I would say to you, when you get to an hour, check them, check them again, hour 20, hour 30, because like I say, if you run the temperature I am, they will cook quickly, worth every minute of it. And if you like this rib video, I got a couple more right down below for you.